Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have sort of a random collection of some yarn and other craft related things that I have bought recently. So I have three stores that are going to be included in this video and that is Dollar Tree, Ollie's, and Walmart. So the past couple of days, I have just been at some random stores and found some yarn or other craft related things that I wanted to get. So I thought I would share them all in one place on this video. So just so you guys know before we get started, there will be links in the description box for all the products that I can find online for you guys. If not, it'll be something similar that I can find linked in the description box. So if you're interested in anything I bought, you can purchase it for yourself. Also, a lot of the stuff that I did purchase is going to be used in future videos. Almost everything I purchased, I think, will be used in future videos. So that's just a little tidbit. So if I mention making this or that, then you guys know that that will probably be in a future video. But anyway, with all of that, let's just get started and show you the stuff I bought. So we're just gonna go in order that I bought this stuff. So we're gonna start out with Dollar Tree. So. I actually went to two different Dollar Trees on this day because I was specifically looking for knitting needles and crochet hooks. I've seen them at Dollar Tree in the past, but I could not find any crochet hooks at either of my two local Dollar Trees, but I did find some knitting needles. So this is a plastic knitting needle set and this is five millimeters. So these are quite large and they're just pink. So this was in the craft section at Dollar Tree. So I also got this craft square pencil and brush organizer. So this is actually meant for organizing like paint brushes or colored pencils or anything like that. But I actually got this to organize my crochet hooks in and possibly knitting needles, but most likely crochet hooks because I have the most of those. But, um, it's like a little stack thingy as you can tell by the picture so i'm sure you guys will see this in an organization video in the future because within the next month or two i plan on coming out with an organization video for my hooks and my yarn and all of that so anyway that's what i got at the first dollar tree and that was two dollars and fifteen cents total including tax so at the second dollar tree i actually didn't find any hooks or needles at all so I'm glad I got the needles at the first Dollar Tree, but I did find some fabric. So since these were only a dollar, I was like, you know what, I can't resist. So I did get four of them. So four dollars total, I got two of them, which these are just fat quarters by the way. I got two of them in this like pink color with pineapples on it. And then I got two of them in this blue color that has like llamas and little cacti on it and stuff. So super cute and I was happy to find these at Dollar Tree because of course they were only a dollar. So I did buy an ice cream thing actually, all of that being one dollar. So that made the total five dollars and 38 cents. So without the ice cream thing it was like four dollars and 20 some cents something like that but um yeah that is everything from dollar tree so next we're going to move on to ollie's because that is an order that i bought all this stuff so at ollie's i got mostly yarn but i did get two other items that are not yarn so i'm going to start out with those so i got this microphone that is meant for like podcasts and stuff which will be for my podcast whenever season two begins to come out again. I'm not sure when this video is coming out. So season two may already be started by then. I don't know. But either way, I got this microphone to upgrade the quality. Hopefully it works well. So it normally would have been $29.99 and we got it for $19.99. So just a standard microphone and it has the microphone stand the usb type a and the microphone holder so i can hook it up to my computer and all of that and do the podcast through there so this hopefully is a good investment 
And if you guys don't know what Ollie's is, it's like a bargain store. So that's why I'm telling you the original price and then the price I got it for because they always have listed on their tags the price that it would have been at a normal store and then the price that you bought it for. So my second item that is not actually yarn is a knitting book. So if you guys saw in some of my recent videos, I have been learning to knit. So this is definitely a more advanced book, but it is for me to use in the future because it is geometric knitting patterns. So it's a lot of like different shapes, like there's leaves and hearts and arrows, skeletons, all different types of geometric shapes in this book. So I picked this out at Ollie's and the original price would have been $23.99 and we bought it for $3.99. So this was a great deal that I could not pass up and there's only like one book left so I was like I'm gonna grab it while it's here. So the next things I did get are yarn. So I got two of the Karin Simply Soft Party yarns and these are like a green with sparkles in them. This color is Dark Sage Sparkle and these are three ounce balls, 99% acrylic, 1% metallic, and medium for weight. And these were originally $4.99 and at Ollie's they were $2.99. So these are also really soft compared to a lot of yarns that I felt with the like glitter in it. It is a lot softer than most of those yarns so I wanted to pick those up and I also thought perfect for Christmas time because green. So the final thing that I got at Ollie's is this Karin one pound ball. This is a purple color and the color name is Black Plum. This is again a medium weight four. It is 16 ounces, 100% acrylic. So this is a yarn that I really like whenever I find it like Michaels and Joann's and stuff. So I thought while well, I found it on sale, it would be a good purchase. So again, the normal price was $9.99 and at Ollie's it was $3.99. So that is everything from Ollie's. So now we're going to move on to Walmart, which I do have the most stuff for. Okay, so the one like non-craft related thing I got is this puzzle from Walmart, but it does have yarn balls on the puzzle. So this is a 500 piece puzzle and I thought it was destined to be mine because of course it's yarn balls and there was only one left at Walmart so kind of had two and this puzzle was five dollars and 97 cents so again really cute and even though I have a lot of puzzles I thought I just needed this one next I got two of these fleece throws for Christmas time so this one is like red with white snowflakes on it and this one is green with red and white Christmas trees. So I'm actually going to be using these as fabric for a video. So stay tuned for that. Even though these are meant to be throws, I'm gonna be combining them to make them into a larger blanket. So these were each $3. And I also got this from the actual fabric section. So this is a plush coral fleece pre-cut fleece fabric and this is 1.5 yards. I forgot to tell you that um, each of these throws are 50 by 60 inch. Anyway, this is going to be for the backing of the blanket I'm going to make with these throws. So again, just for that video. So this was $8.94. So with all of that out of the way, the rest of the stuff I have to share with you is yarn. So I'm gonna show you all of that. So I got this Red Heart Super Saver, which is a metallic one. And I wanted a red metallic because I got these green metallics at Ollie's. So I thought a red metallic would be great to use both of them for Christmas time. 
So that's what I did and this is just the color red. This is a five ounce ball medium four weight and this is 98% acrylic and 2% other fibers. This Red Heart Super Saver was $4.17. So I got three of the Mainstays 100% acrylic yarns. So I got one that is a 14 ounce ball that is this gray color. This was $5.47. And then I got two of these that are the 7 ounce 100% acrylic yarns, also by Mainstays. And this is just the blue color and the white color. These were both $2.67. So that is everything for this haul. I apologize that it's a little bit random stuff, but I wanted to share it with you because a lot of it was yarn and craft stuff that I will be using mostly in future videos. So if you guys see this stuff in some of my future videos, then you know, this is when I bought it. Yeah, that is basically all. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. If you guys do want to check out any of the stuff I bought, I will do my best to find all of it and link it in the description box below for you guys. As well as if you guys want to see more from me, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my podcast, and all of my social medias. All of that is always included in the description box down below. Hey guys, just a quick reminder before we end off this video, I am currently doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel where I am vlogging every single day for 25 days in a row. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, that will be the first link in the description box for you guys. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.